Really cool feature here. Exposed bluffage. Should be getting close to the main Hutchins Creek. Howdy folks, Sean here from HikingWithSean.com and today we are at the Godwin West Trailhead right here. We're going to go down here, Fall River River Trail to Hutchins Creek, probably play around the creek for a little bit and then walk back. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not where we are, we're right here. Duh, you are here. <laughs> that's the west, that's the Clear Springs. To me, it's a lot longer and a lot more hillier. This one isn't so bad. So we're gonna go here, probably play around the creek, and then come back. And you get to come with us. All right, folks, entering Bald Knob Wilderness. All right, folks, this is our trail. Pretty, uh, kind of growed up a little bit this time of year, but you can still follow it pretty good. Seen some people, a family come through earlier, hoping they got at least some of the spider webs. I noticed I kind of tower over all of them, so <laughs> I'm still gonna get some myself. Well, that's because you're abnormally tall. It's because I'm average. No. <laughs> Not below average. <laughs> But we also got to look at, be on the lookout because this is rattlesnake country. And we don't need Michelle stepping on any more rattlesnakes. Mm -hmm. Got to be careful on this trail. Some areas are steep. And then of course the rattlesnakes. <laughs> and the copperheads, there's copperheads here too. And maybe Bigfoot. Be. Could be. I see him occasionally. Yeah. Way up ahead of the trail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, even big footprints. I hate to showcase stuff like this, but this is this is what you get when you get people down here who just do not care about public land. They drag all this stuff down and then they leave it, probably from the eclipse. Um, not everyone who was here for the eclipse is a bad person for the most part. They took care of the land, but you'll occasionally get scum people that don't deserve it. Like whoever left all this. It's pretty sad. Wow. But occasionally they leave mail. Did and you, you can, find some? No. I, like, I totally want it. No. And you just read the mail. Offense or not offense, don't really care. <clears throat> Find out who they are, then do what you have to do. Uh, folks, we have been in the creek for a little while because the trail is nothing but sticker bush and after that it'll be nothing but stinging nettle. So that's the thing, if you come this way, this time of the year, you're gonna deal with Three major things, sticker bush, stinging nettle, and spider webs. So if you can figure out a way to get around the sticker bush and stinging nettle, and you're all right to deal with spider webs, then you have, you'll have it made if all three of those things bother you to a point to where you can't do it, then I definitely don't recommend doing this hike until the winter. Which is pretty, it's definitely pretty in the winter, but it's also pretty in the summer. Alright folks, this is the nice part about Hutchins. Plenty of pockets of water to get into <laughs> on this pretty warm day. And our hippie socks. Alright folks. When I was a kid, I used to walk barefooted everywhere. Riding my bike barefooted, 
playing the woods barefooted. Go in the stores barefooted. Ooh. But nowadays as an adult. It sucks. It hurts. <laughs> Especially on rocks. On rocks. I can go outside. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It definitely doesn't feel like it did when I was a kid. <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> oh, and we have kind of padded neoprene socks on, you know, so yeah, probably going to be putting on the boots again. It's a very different looking Hutchins Creek in the summer. <laughs> we come through here last time and they're in leaf off and all this was clear and you can see everything. Definitely looks different when everything's grown up. Not too sure if you can see it, folks, but there's big schools of fish in there. A whole lot of them. More that way, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty deep right there. That'd be a swimming pool. Check that out, folks. <laughs> All sorts of them. It's a big school of fishies. Just hanging out. Wish I had a thing of fish food. <laughs> now if I could just kill this fly, I'd yeah. toss him out there. <laughs> Fishies. Really cool. Lots of them. Just hanging out. All right, folks. As much as we don't want to, we gotta start heading back. Up. I'm <laughs> heading back up. It's only like three miles. That feels like a lot more. <laughs> There's a is that a antlers on the tree there? Yep. Yep. Hmm. All right, folks, we got a uh, saddleback. Saddleback. Slug. Slug. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Also causing a rodeo scope. No, it's not. <laughs> and he said I stink. <laughs> yeah, she stinks. <laughs> She smells like she's been farting all day. Whatever. <laughs> that's a no-no no touch caterpillar. <laughs> yeah. I don't fart. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I distinctly remember this one time in the fan. <laughs> all right, folks. On the creek. Slowly taking our time. I'm a little wore out. But I'm catching my second whim here. Uh -huh. ah. Check that out, folks. It's like old cast iron. That's pretty crazy. Hiking the creek still. Trying to avoid all the sticker bush we had to go through. I do believe this creek intersects the trail in fact, I know it does because we've done it. But when we did it, I think it was leaf off. <laughs> so, might be a little bit more thicker to get to. All right, folks, back on the main trail. Took the creek all the way to a trail crossing to avoid all the sticker bush, which there was quite a bit we walked through. And just to you know, make it a little easier. Nice to be on the trail again. Creek's cool, but it can kind of hurt you. Get your feet all hurting walking on up for too long. Now we're kind of going uphill. <laughs> I'm pretty much be uphill all the way back. So that's what we're doing. All right, folks, I carry 
two of these like Gatorade Powerade bottles. You know, I'll drink Gatorade Powerade and then I'll save the bottle and use it for quite a while. Um, and I just like those bottles. But uh, you know it's a long and tiring hike when you go through both of them. That's all that's left of your water supply. Um, usually I just go through one and not even the whole bottle. Um, I usually put some sort of a electrolyte in one of them and I'll just go through it first. And usually not the whole thing, so I'm almost done with my second full bottle. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not running out of water or nothing. We're really close to the truck. But uh, if I were thought I, you know, was going to need more water, I would have uh, filtered it at Hutchins Creek. I carry a water filter, and Hutchins Creek has a good flow in certain spots, um, enough where you can filter it. And uh, filter it twice, you know, if you want to be extra careful. But uh, that's a... Uh, that's what it is. It's a, it's been a tough uh, hike. This is always a tough hike. The other way, going from West Godwin uh, into Clear Springs Wilderness is, is even more tough. There's a lot of hills to it. And you know, obviously a lot of hills back. And it's much longer. So that's usually a 10 mile hike. This is probably close to a 10. Um, eight. Eight or nine my watch kind of died so i'm not really recording i might be recording i don't know so i'm not too sure what this one's going to turn into got to get a got to dig out my old watch and start using it because the iphone watch is just not working right anymore but yeah so we're almost to the truck Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, comment, share it with others on social media and stuff. And uh, be sure to subscribe. You can also uh, check out the description for information on how to hike this area, as well as uh, how to subscribe to my newsletter, which is free. And if you wanna support me even further, I have a buy me a coffee link. You can donate one time or if you want to become a Patreon member for a low monthly fee, you can do that. It's up to you. So thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see you on the trail.